smells like fall. Hello friends, it's me. I know it's been a while since I uploaded a video on this channel, but today I went grocery shopping. It had all the fall stuff and the pumpkin stuff, and today I thought I would show you some of the things I got and do a pumpkin taste test. You see, I don't really like pumpkin drinks, but I buy them every single year, at least once, just to make sure I still don't like it. And like, it always sounds so good. And like, look at these. They smell so delicious. They look so delicious. Don't be suspicious. But I went to Dunkin'. I went to Starbucks. I went to Dunkin' again. And I went to Starbucks again. Just kidding, I forgot this one, so I had to Postmates it. We only have one straw, though. So it's still like 90 to 100 degrees where I live. So I just realized I didn't get any hot drinks. They're all ice. I don't care what flavor syrup you put in hot coffee, it's still gonna taste like hot piss. These drinks have been sitting for a while. And I finally get to try them. So I got everything half sweet because drinks are too sweet for me. If you think normal sweet drinks are like fine, your taste buds are broken. If you wanna fix your taste buds, start getting your drinks half sweet. Things will start tasting better. It's like resetting your taste buds. So the first drink I am trying today is the pumpkin latte from Starbucks. And then I got the pumpkin latte from Dunkin'. So we're doing a whipped cream taste test. Oh my God, the Dunkin' one. The whipped cream is immaculate. I don't know what this is seasoned with. It's like a whole entire pumpkin pie spice sitting atop the whipped cream. It tastes fake. Definitely tastes fake. The Starbucks one tastes more expensive. It tastes real. That's some real seasoning right there. Oh, but the, this one, oh, it's delicious. 10 out of 10. I just want to eat the whipped cream milk. Oh my god, that's delicious. That's so good. It doesn't even taste like pumpkin spice. This is pumpkin spice. Oh no, my straw. My straw is, is too short. Look at the inside of this. Look at that. I know it's like melted, but it's so good. That's probably like the best whipped cream and topping I've ever had in my life. It's thumb looking good. You see the color of this? Where is the coffee? Sometimes I swear, Dunkin', they just give you seasoned milk. There is no coffee in this. Look at the color of this. It is one shade darker than milk. Some almond milk really be this dark. It's really good. How does Starbucks fare against the Dunkin'? I haven't had whipped cream in like months, so it's like, it's extra delicious. Where's the flavor? I know I got a half sweet, but this literally just tastes like milk. Okay, both of them taste like seasoned milk to me. There is no espresso whatsoever. Where is the latte? Dunkin' wins. Delicious. Also, Starbucks is medium versus Dunkin's medium. Mm. So we're gonna go to the Starbucks pumpkin cold brew. Take a look at that. Look at that foam. Mm, extra thick. It looks pretty delicious. And then the Dunkin pumpkin latte. That tastes like a pumpkin. Like, not in a good way. Straight out the patch. You didn't even cook it. I don't like it. Starbucks. This is even worse. Why is it so bad? I feel like the only good drink I had was the Dunkin' one with the whipped cream, which the whipped cream is now all gone. I've come to the conclusion that I don't really like pumpkin spice lattes. I love pumpkin flavored things, I think. That's what we're gonna try today. So I went grocery shopping and this is what I got from Trader Joe's. I got a bunch of these, which I've never seen the little brooms before. I usually get the big brooms, but these are cinnamon whisks. They're little pine brooms and you can like hang them up, put them in a pot or something. They're decorative and also they smell incredible. Like cinnamon. Mmm, delicious. So I just put these in like little pots around my house. So I have this little cinnamon broom that I just put here and it smells delicious. So I got this skull table from Home Goods. I got this little orb. And I got the rest of these little trinkets from Michaels and Home Goods. And then this is just a bowl. I got these little friends at Home Goods. Pretty metal. Put some real pumpkins on my coffee table. Would you look at that? I just started putting some more decor on my bar. Kind of messy right now, but still a work in progress. Excuse me while I go drop this into the sink where it belongs. Speaking of dropping things, I've been using the Drop app. And if you don't know what that is, Drop is the easiest to use rewards app. You get points back from shopping at all your favorite brands, in store and online. I just got points back from ordering from Postmates, Uber Eats, and BarkBox. So I always use Drop before I shop anywhere. It's the first app I go to. They've got over 300 offers in a ton of different categories. Your girl likes food. So you go to the shop page, tap an offer that you like, click the shop now, and then it'll just take you to the site where you just buy whatever you're gonna buy and then after you check out drop will automatically add those points to your account bam points profit so on postmates you can earn a hundred points for every dollar you spend i've been using this offer like once a week so i've been getting like hella points over time all the points you earn in the drop app can be turned into free gift cards that you can redeem on the app from a bunch of different places like you got amazon starbucks sephora gift card drop also offers a bunch of fun ways to earn points without even spending a dime there's drop arcade where you can get points from playing games. You can also get points from referring your friends. 
There's also some easy surveys that you can take for some free points. So definitely check it out. I will link drop in the description below. Click on my link, download it, and you can use my code Leah to get a $10 bonus on the app in the form of points. You get 10,000 points. The bonus will be deposited when you earn your first 1K worth of points by completing offers on the app. This offer will only be available for one week, so make sure you download drop now. Oh, this is something I really wanted to try. I saw this and I'm like, this is everything I like. Maple, sea salt, and it's kettle corn. So triple whammy, looks delicious. Oh my God, the scent. When I open this bag, this is better than any Bath and Body Works candle I have ever smelled in my life. Smell this. Smell this, I say. Mm. I want my entire existence to smell like this. These are very delicious. This is dangerous. <laughs> Top three best kettle corn I've ever had. This might actually be the best kettle corn I've ever had. No words how good this is. It's so delicious. I could eat this whole bag right now. Same. These aren't even pumpkins. Oh well, they're fall. Look at the packaging. Orange. Next up, I got some caramel apple flavored granola. Granola. Boom. I love caramel apple flavored things. You know, like the lollipops, the caramel apple ones, but it's hard to find like actual food that's caramel apple flavored. So I saw granola. Wow. What? Can I help you? How we looking, buddy? By the way. The caramel apple granola. He was very specific, so I had to. No idea this is. Like this popcorn. is, yeah, the popcorn is immaculate. But this is pretty good. This is really good granola. Probably the best tasting granola I've ever had. There's a lot of calories, though. You know how they get you? People think granola is healthy, but they don't understand how little a serving size is. So some people just eat the whole thing, and then they're like, oh, it's granola, it's healthy. Or they'll just pour out a bowl. But a serving size, okay, this one's not that bad. It's like three-fourths of a cup. So this is a cup. It's like this much granola, 250 calories. This is how much you should be eating. A big handful, boo snacks. Are they called boo snacks? No, they're called ghosts and bats, crispy potato snacks. But I call these boo snacks. Because look, 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 look. Everything is shaped like a ghost. New to this, very spooky potato chips. Always be the mm. photographer. Mmm. Mm. I can hear their cries. Those are good. Boo snack. Mmm. Delicious, you can eat the whole bag. Even though a serving is only 12 chips. These are deliciously bad. This one's not that interesting, but I got organic cinnamon sticks. I feel like Trader Joe's is the best place to get spices because all the spices are like super fresh, super good. They're incredibly cheap. You see all the sticks of cinnamon? This was like $2.50, super cheap. Next up, I got this candle and it is vanilla pumpkin. They had another one, it was like crisp apple and it's just like a one wick candle. Smell it! Oh wait, I forgot, you can't. Now that I smell it, I feel like it smells all right. It's nice to just like put these candles in the bathroom. I think it's all right. Okay, I got a few more things and one taste test. This is something I've never seen before, something I've never bought before, spicy pumpkin curry. Oh, it's spicy, hmm. It sounded interesting because I do like curry. I do like a little bit of spice, but well, they added pumpkin, so I thought it was pretty interesting. Wow, look how powerful I am. Opened a jar my first try. Smells all right. I'm gonna just take a little scoop from the back of the lid. Mmm, tastes gourmet. So you're basically supposed to like simmer your chicken in this and that actually sounds delicious. So I'm excited to make something with this. I'm gonna just simmer some chicken over it, throw it over some rice. Wham, bam, easy dinner, ma'am. Next up we got some pumpkin butter, which I've never tried before. What even is pumpkin butter? It's pumpkin, sugar, honey, lemon, cinnamon, cloves, ginger, nutmeg. That's all the ingredients. There's in fact no butter in pumpkin butter. I cannot open this. <laughs> What are you supposed to eat this with? Toast. Pumpkin and toast, just straight up pumpkin? Oh, it's like a jelly. It smells like pumpkin sauce. Uh, I think that's essentially what it is, pumpkin sauce. I think we're gonna have it with a cracker. I don't know what else we're supposed to eat it with, so boom, just dip it in. Bone apple teeth. It's like pumpkin flavored baby food. Not a fan. I'm trying to think what you would use this for. Definitely not bread. Pastry filling, poultry glaze, ice cream topping, mixed with fat-free cream cheese. That would probably be delicious, because I do love pumpkin and cream cheese. But this, just straight up by itself, even with a cracker, I don't like it. Next, I have to buy this every single year. I've bought it the past like three years in a row. It's a gluten-free pumpkin pancake mix. 
and it has pecans in it. It's absolutely delicious. This makes the best pumpkin pancakes. It's so easy. And they come out perfect every time. Highly recommend all of Trader Joe's pancake mixes. Oh, last thing. This one's refrigerated. Actually, I have two. I already started eating this one. I couldn't wait. It is maple butter. So it said it's spreadable creamy maple syrup, which I love maple butter. What? This whole thing is maple syrup? What? I thought it was butter with maple syrup, but the only ingredient is maple syrup. So it's just like a solidified thick maple syrup, but it has no butter in it, no dairy. How does this make sense? It's literally butter. Now I'm confused. Anyways, <laughs> cream cheese, pumpkin spice flavored. It's got a bagel on the top. Unfortunately, I do not have a bagel to optimize this taste test, but whoa. I don't think I've ever had pumpkin spice cream cheese, but I do a big cream cheese fan. Mmm, mmm, that's good. That's some good stuff. Delicious. These crackers kind of suck though. But but the cream cheese, mmm. I think this might actually be better than regular cream cheese. You can fight mm -hmm. me on that. The cream cheese, delicious. You know how good it is? Lid licking good. That's some 10 out of 10 cheese. But anyways, that's all for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to hit that like button in the face. And make sure you check out the link in the description below to download Drop. And Make sure you use my code Leah to get some points. And make sure you turn on notifications so you know when I upload. Click, click. I love you guys so much. Thanks for watching. Bye, guys.